is Professor Weinberg. So thank you very much for, for inviting me here to this panel. Actually, I didn't, I didn't uh, really find out why the School of Design Thinking was invited to panel about quality, but thinking more about that, um, I, I'm pretty sure that is the right decision for us to be here. My name is Rudy Weinberg, and I'm leading a very new institute, which is up and running since about five years. And if I ask you who has heard about design thinking, <laughs> two, three, so then it makes sense to show at least a few slides to illustrate what it's about, because it's not about design, it's about innovation. And the interesting thing is that after five years now, more than 50% of the largest German companies are partnering with this group of design thinking, so they find something which is interesting. There was probably also the reason um, we are based in Potsdam, we are part of a university, we are part of a special institute which is focused on IT. And uh, the School of Design Thinking, which we call the D School, is just one part of the institution which was founded by Hasso Blatner, the co-founder of SAP, several years ago. And uh, you see here all the people. You know, Hasso Blatner is the guy in the blue shirt, that's work so far. Um, but what we are doing was inspired by what several professors at Stanford University was doing, were doing about seven years ago when they were starting a very, very new institute which is fully cross-disciplinary, inviting all the students from Stanford University to work on tackling, to tackle interesting hard problems. And that's what we are doing at, this, at the D School in Potsdam as well. We are, we have a lot of students, we are open to all disciplines and that's how it looks at our institute and we are working together with the industry to solve problems and to come up with new ideas which is some, on one hand it's innovation, coming up with new ideas on the other it's about quality as well. Two slides to illustrate our basic philosophy. First, how we approach innovation, how, how do we try to come up with new ideas don't do it too much through technology and not too much through business. We try to focus on the human needs. We try to look at very closely what humans, what people like, what kind of product they would like to use, what kind of services they would like to be in. And uh, the second slide illustrates the, the three core elements. So we are focusing first not too much on the creative power of individuals. We focus on the creative power of teams especially multidisciplinary teams. So we have small teams, five, six people, like a medical student, an engineer, designer, a software guy, they're working together and try to solve problems and try to come up with new ideas together with the industry. Second is, we're using a process for those teams which is activating both parts of the brain, not just the analytical part, which is majority, the majority of the, of the uh, normal classes at university are focusing on the analytical part. But we also activate the creative part, the intuitive part, at the same time and try to keep this in balance for the whole team all the time. And the third thing is, if you have those three, those two elements, you need to have a certain new space which is supporting those activities. And that's how it looks at our school. So we created special furniture to support the team, those team activities. Do a lot of things analog. And uh, most of the time, we're using also um, computers, we're trying to combine both the virtual with the, with the physical world. And maybe one slide at the end, we're doing this together with the industry, with large companies, small companies, we're getting their problems and, uh, and trying, let's, let's uh, look at the live left, Frankfurt Airport actually was asking us last year or last semester, how can we enhance the waiting experience of our customers. So how can we raise the quality of waiting at the airport for customers who have to wait for three or four hours? <laughs> and uh, we're doing this training for students, but at the same time also for professionals, for a huge number. Last year we trained about 600 professionals. 
um, compared to 240 students which we have in the year. And this is basically it. Thanks. I'm looking forward to the discussion.